Hello and welcome to the very first episode of Pokemon Heart Gold Randomized Nuzlocke. I am Kyle from Kyle Style Gaming, and for this Nuzlocke, I have randomized our starters, our encounter Pokemon for routes. I have randomized all of the trainer Pokemon that we are going to battle against. I have randomized our TMs and all field items. So, the rules for this Nuzlocke are going to be the same for pretty much every Nuzlocke you probably come across. If a Pokemon faints, it is going to be considered dead. I cannot use it anymore. I will put it in a death box. Two, I can only catch the first encounter that I have on each new route. So, there is one exception with this. If it is a species of one of the Pokemon I already own, so one of the evolutions of them, I can go ahead and run away from that and get a, a second encounter instead. Um, that way I don't have multiples of the same Pokemon. Other than that, I will make sure to nickname all of my Pokemon, and if I ever black out, I am done. So let's go ahead and get started. So, I am going to speed up uh, the playthrough here from time to time, especially here at the beginning, because this takes forever. Oak is sorry to keep us waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Oak, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before we go any further, I'd like to tell you a few things you should know about this world. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. At times, we play together, and at other times, we work together. I'm just saying, besides gym layers, when have you seen uh, Pokemon working with people besides, you know, like Machokes and uh, some Vigoros moving some people? <clears throat> some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or a girl? Well, I am sitting right here in front of you, but I am a boy. So you're a boy then! Yes, that, that, that's what I said. Please, tell me your name. Alright, so I am Kyle Style from Kyle Style Gaming, so Kyle right there. Your name is Kyle! I, I, I just told you that. <laughs> Are you ready? Your very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. Fun experiences. Difficult experiences. There's so much waiting for you. Dreams, adventure! Let's go to the world of Pokemon. I'll see you later. Yes, I will. Alright, so here we are. We have teleported right to the very center of our room. We weren't even on our chair. We were just standing in front of the computer like, I don't want to check this email from Lyra. It doesn't even have a potion in it. Why would I do that? Let's go down and talk to Mom real quick. I wish I had the speed up button when talking to my own mom. I, I tell you, she just yaps and yaps. Hi, Kyle! You're finally awake! Your friend Lyra was just here. She was playing hide and seek with her Meryl. Wow, she does that does that a lot. I mean, just has no respect and regard for keeping her Meryl in a ball at all. It's just running all over the place, all over the town, all the time. Oh, I almost forgot! Our acquaintance, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he had a favor to ask of you. You know where the lab is, right? It's right next door to us. Yeah, Mom, I do. You know, my mom says things like that, too, like... Oh, you know this? Yeah, of course I know this. Come on. By the way, do you have everything you need to go out? Here, use this bag to carry things. Here's your trainer card. Here you can save and record your progress. There's also, rather helpful, just try touching the buttons and you'll know what to do in no time. Thanks, Mom. Alright, let's get on with this. Alright, gonna speed up this. Oh, look! Here's Meryl! Found him! He's really good at hide-and-seek! He ran right into me when you were up there looking upstairs in Professor Oak's... Professor Elm's lab. Jeez. Okay. Thanks for that. So, I know most of us know what's going on in this game, so I'm not gonna go through and, you know, read through every single text. I'll just main, like, mainly read the main things. So we've got Professor Elm here. Hi, Kyle! I've been waiting for you! Do you know everything about my research? As you know, Pokemon are carried in Pokeballs these days. But before the Pokeball was invented, people used to walk with Pokemon. Just like your friend Lyra does! Pokeballs are great because you can carry many Pokemon. But walking with Pokemon must have some advantages. It could have something to do with how Pokemon grow or evolve. So I'm going to give you a Pokemon. Can you walk beside this Pokemon? Outside of its Pokeball? To see if this brings any special feelings or bonds between the Pokemon and people? 
The device over there has some Pokemon that you could choose from. Okay, just, you know, stop in the middle of what you're doing and check your email. Jeez, Professor. Huh? Oh, hey, I got an email. Hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. Hey, listen. I have this acquaintance that people call Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that it's this time it's real. So you're saying... You're saying he makes all these discoveries and they're not real, but this time it is? Hmm. Sounds fishy. It's probably another Pokemon egg. But we're still so busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know. You can go in our place, right? Can we count on you? You can choose one of the Pokemon over there. All right, so let's see. Now again, our Pokemon at the beginning have been randomized, so let's go ahead and see what we've got here. Touch your Pokemon to see what the Pokemon is inside. All right. All right, so we got a Pichu. Ooh! We got a Mew over here. All right. And the last one, ooh, it's Togekiss. Now, I'm not really sure which one I want to go with here. Like, some of you might be thinking, Kyle, don't be a fool. Go for the Mew. It can learn anything. And it's got awesome stats, and it's a legendary. Of course it does. But Toga, like, Mew, I didn't randomize the moves at all. So, like, Mew's going to start with Pound and maybe Transform and nothing else. Whereas Togekiss, it's probably going to have, like, really high damaging, like, 90 power moves. So, I don't know. Hmm. I definitely don't want the Pichu. I know that for sure. So, it's definitely going to be between the Togekiss and the Mew. I think, you know what? Let's go with the Mew. Let's do it. You'll take Mew, the Psychic-type Pokemon. Yes, I will. Kyle received Mew from Professor Elm. All right, now just like any other Nuzluck, I am going to go ahead and give my Pokemon a nickname. So let's go ahead. I'm going to name this guy after the original 151 loves his video. So we're going to name this guy Vinny right here. Couldn't imagine naming him anything else. All right. Is Vinny the nickname you want to give? I got I to gotta change this, uh, this speed on this. How do you like walking with your Pokemon? It's not bad, is it? You can take it all the way to Mr. Pokemon's house. If your Pokemon gets hurt, you should heal it with this machine, which also has my email on it. It's so easy to use. Just check the PC on my desk. All right, let's, let's move this along. Mr. Pokemon goes everywhere and finds rarities. His house is past Cherry Grove City. Go north, a little past Cherry Grove. I'm counting on you, Kyle. All right, let's go ahead and change the speed here. Nope, don't want the bag. Options, fast, we're going to hit confirm. All right, let's get on our way. Kyle, I want you to have these to help with your task. Nice potions. Don't hesitate to use a potion if you think you're in danger. Now, who knows what we're going to encounter in Route 1? Oh. All right. Kyle! So you picked a Mew! That's a cute Pokemon you have! When you walk with it, it'll become more friendly. You should turn around and talk to it sometimes, too. Oh, that's right. Why don't you show it to your mom? See ya. Yeah, because she gave me all this stuff, but now she's going to give me my phone because, you know, reasons. All right. Oh, Kyle, that's a cute Pokemon you have. Professor Elms must have given it to you. Oh, Professor Elm has a task for you, you say? What kind of task? I see. That sounds a little difficult. But when something, when someone makes that kind of request of you, it must be important. Yeah, he gave it to a 10-year-old. It's clearly important. Oh, that's right. I completely forgot. Your poker here came back from the repair shop. Here you go. Again, you could have given that to me when you gave me all the other stuff. Unless it just came. But I find that a little... I've never even seen the poker gear shop. Where is it at? The poker gear, or poker gear, it's, as it's often called, is what every trainer should have. Guess what? You can use the Poke Gear to make a phone call, too. I don't want to. Yes, I remember how. But you're going to tell me anyways. <laughs> Just power on the Poke Gear and touch the telephone button, okay? The names of the people you can call are automatically registered. Just select one to give a call to him or her. Wow, I can't believe it's so easy to make a phone call. Thanks, Mom. See you whenever. 
All right, so. Uh, uh, wait a second. I almost completely forgot about this. Here, I'll give you my number. I'll call you if anything comes up. Hey, you might want to do something about that peeping Tom over here. He's just kind of staring into the window. It's... I bet you he does something while I'm gone. Even though there's there's two grown men in that lap. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So, let's go ahead and go into Route 29 and see what kind of Pokemon are up in here. Alright, so we got Clefairies. Now, I don't have the Pokeballs yet, so our Nuzlocke has not begun. So, the Nuzlocke will start as soon as I get Pokemon, uh, Pokeballs. But until then... I'm, I'm good to die, to kill anything, and I don't have to worry about catching anything. Okay. Again, standard Nuzlocke rules here. Alright. So let's get going here. Ooh, Charizard. Now, a Charizard would be very nice to have when we're coming back through here. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I am a, uh, a Kanto kid, if you want to call it that. An original 151 kind of guy. So... Um, Charizard was definitely, uh, Charmander was always my starter when I started playing Pokemon. Uh, I think once in my life I chose a Squirtle, and I, I think I, I was okay with it, but just, the, the Charmander is just so much cooler. I mean, he's literally on fire. Alright. Level 6. Alright. And now, I, we haven't even checked the nature of the ability, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. So, looks like our Pokemon, Vinny, has a Jolly nature. Okay. I do believe Jolly is the one that increases speed lower special. Alright, we've got Synchronize. Okay, that's that's not bad. So, any Pokemon we catch then, as long as Mew's out first, we should have like a 50% chance of it also being a Jolly nature. Along with the fact that if I get burned, poison, paralyzed, I'm going to pass it on to the foe. So, that's really nice. Okay. Looks good. So it looks like attack and speed are the highest. Special attack is lower. So again, you can see the special attacks in blue. That's the one that's going to be subtracted. And speed is red. That's the one that's being increased. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and make our way to the next route. Now, the Pokemon didn't have any items on it. I, I put on there that it should, but apparently it didn't do that. So it is what it is. Killing on a Clefairy here. Again, I'm going to speed up through this whole start process. I know that everyone is familiar with this. So a lot of times, unless I'm going to catch like my first Pokemon on the route, or it's like you know important dialogue, I will just kind of speed through it. Because again, you know we're here to see about the challenge, not read all the text. All right, now this Gengar, I'm not going to be able to hit with Pound. I guess I could try transforming it. Gengar, I have a feeling would give me a lot of. Uh... Now I just got paralyzed, and it didn't paralyze it. What's up with that? Okay, that did a lot of damage. I'm going to try licking it and hopefully I kill it. Nope, okay, well. There we go. It missed all its attacks. Perfect. Alright. So. Ooh, it's Tyranitar. That wouldn't be bad to have either. I am going to run from this battle just because I don't want to get, like, bit or anything like that. But Tyranitar or Charizard or even Gengar would all be great to have um, as my first Pokemon. Again, I don't want a Clefairy. If I get a Clefairy, I'm going to be pretty upset about that whole thing. <laughs> Alright, old guy. Calm down. I forgot you weren't wearing running shoes. I'll try to go as slow as possible, so try to keep up. You could just not run, dude. You could walk like the rest of us. This is the Pokemon Center. They heal your Pokemon to no time at all. You'll be relying on them a lot, so you better learn about them. What's there to learn? You just told me. <laughs> this is Pokemart. They sell Pokeballs. And other useful items. Great. This is Route 30. Trainers will battle Pokemon there. If you go a little far, you'll find Mr. Pokemon's house. Great, that's where I need to go. This is the sea. As you can see. Ah! 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 ah. Old guy's got jokes. Some Pokemon are found only in water. Here, it's my house. For your effort, keeping up with me, I'll give you my running shoes. They're still warm. Ugh. You just... You just... You're just gonna give them to me off your feet. Oh, gotcha! Don't worry, these are brand new. But but did you take them off your feet, though? Even if they're new, they can still be on your feet. 
All right, perfect. Let's go heal this uh, Paralyze off of my Mew real quick. And then we will start making our way to Mr. Pokemon's house. Now, for you guys, uh, for those of you who are just watching this for the first time, this is actually my first Nuzlocke ever. Like, ever. Ever, ever. Oh, this guy again. <gasps> I forgot this one thing. Take it as a token for me. Take it. Oh, this old guy really loves giving me things. That's a little disturbing. Great. Thanks for the map. Appreciate it. Okay, anyways, so yeah, this is my first Nuzlocke ever, and, you know, I did decide to make it randomized. If I get a Metapod in Route 30 as my encounter, I am going to pound it so hard. <laughs> Alright, I'm not going to pick up this item, because, again, the Nuzlocke doesn't start until I pick up Pokeballs, and if a random item that I pick up is a Pokeball, um, then my Nuzlocke's going to start. So I'm not going to pick up any items until I officially get back. Now, my Mew is paralyzed. I don't know how to paralyze yet, so... <sighs> I don't want to lose... I know it's not going to kill me in this generation. It'll stop at one, but I don't want to deal with that. So I'm going to go ahead and heal this off again. And then I'm going to buy some paralyze, heal, and some antidotes. But yeah, so this is my first Nuzlocke ever. Um, I've been playing these games you know, since they came out. I was actually in fourth grade, so that might age me a little bit when the original Red and Blue came out. Um, but yeah, so I've been playing these forever. I played up through um, Gen 5 of these games. Um, so I haven't played either of the two new ones, but hopefully I'll be able to get that uh, sometime soon to get those and hopefully do them on the channel here. So I'm going to buy five antidotes. I'm only going to buy probably one Paralyzed Seal. And then I've got how many potions in my bag? Five. Alright, I'll buy two more. Three more. And that way, when we come back here, the rest of this will go towards Pokeballs. Alright, so. But yeah, so definitely out of uh, the, the Pokemon games that I played up through Gen 5, I definitely... I don't want to talk to this guy. I don't want this case. Um, definitely Gen 1 and Gen 2 are for sure my favorites out of out of them. They just, they are, okay? Um, I do love the fact that in Gen 5, you get TMs to be reusable, but, you know, maybe it's just because I was so young when these came out. I don't know, I just, I feel like these had the best story, and uh, they flow really well. There's not a crazy amount of backtracking like there is with some of the other games, and, you know, it's not 100% surfing like the Hoenn region is. I know some of you love Hoenn out there, I'm just going to say, that's a lot of effing surfing, okay? That's a lot of surfing. You must be Kyle. It was I who sent the email to Professor Elm earlier. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. A friend of mine from Ecritik gave it to me. I bet you can't find this kind of egg in Johto. I thought Professor Elm might be able to tell us what it is. He is the best when it comes to research on Pokemon evolution. That's a quote from the famous Professor Oak. Professor Oak, he only knows about 151 Pokemon, okay? Like, there's tons out there, and he only knows about 151, so I don't know if Professor Oak is the guy to talk to him about here. Are you, per are you returning to Professor Oak? Here, your Pokemon should have some rest. And with that... I'm Professor Oak, a Pokemon researcher. So you're Kyle. I was just visiting my friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand to Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon. Yeah, it's pretty rare. I mean, it's it's kind of legendary, if I do say so myself. I see. You must be helping for Professor Elm research. I think I understand why Professor Elm gave you that Pokemon. You will treat your Pokemon with love and care, it seems. You seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. I'd like you to have it. Go meet many kinds of Pokemon and complete that Pokedex. But I've stayed too long. I have to get the Golden Rod for my usual radio show. Kyle, I had this feeling that this is not the last time we'll meet. Let's exchange numbers, just to be on the safe side. Well, if you think we're going to meet again, why would you need to give me your number? Why can't I just get the next time I see you? 
Man, there's a lot of old guys that give you stuff in this game. I'm just saying, it's it's kind of creepy if you think about it for a little bit too long. Oh, Professor Um, I just talked to you. <laughs> Hello? Kyle? It's a disaster. Oh, um, it's just terrible. What should I do? It, uh, no. Please get back here now. It's one angry nerd right there. Let's do this, Vinny. Let's save Elm. Get out of here, Metapod. Nobody loves you. Not even Ash. Ash thought he loved you until he got Butterfree. And then he even gave you away, so... Just saying. Spoiler alert if you haven't seen the original uh, anime. Bye-bye, <laughs> Butterfree. Okay, so again, I'm going to leave all those items on the field. I'll pick them up later because I don't want to be... Uh, I don't want to be picking up any Pokeballs. This room does not really. You got a Pokemon in the lab. What a waste. That's a Pokemon that's too good for a wimp like you. I mean, honestly, it's a legendary. I'm only 10. You're probably right, kid. Don't you get what I'm saying? I just said I do. Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. Passerby boy. So I'm not gonna lie, the very first time I ever played the original silver version, it's the version that I had when I was a kid. My brother had gold. The first time I ever played this, it tells you you're challenged by question mark, question mark, question mark. And later in the game, it tells you to tell Professor o, uh, Elm what his name is. And I was like, yeah, his name was question mark, question mark, question mark. And so for the rest of the game, <laughs> his name was question mark, question mark. So, just saying, 10-year-olds, 11-year-olds, however old it was when I got silver, not too bright, okay? <laughs> Clearly, they were wanting me to name this guy, and I didn't understand. Alright, that Pichu was pretty strong, as uh, this passer boy, passerby boy says. <sighs> you won. You ever notice how the kids in this game are always stacked with cash? Like, I just give me 500 bucks. And he's also probably ten. Do you want to know who I am? I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. Not with red hair like that, you ain't. I'm just kidding, guys. I've got nothing against redheads. Except for this redhead. Give it back! That's my trainer card. Wow, I've got some hands on me. I just, I just stole his card. Oh no, you saw my name. See, this game doesn't tell me his name is question mark, question mark, question mark, so I would never name him that. <laughs> Alright, let's heal this Paralyze off, because it's super annoying. Let's get back to Elm. Now I'm going to be all... Since I am quite a high level here, I don't want to level myself too much to where I'm not going to be able to catch um, my first encounter. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to avoid all the grass up here. By doing this little move right here, and here. Because again, right now, oh, no, Pokedex. I am level 9, so if I get too high, I'm just going to be one-shotting things. So I think whatever my first encounter is, I might just transform into it, which is where Muse can come in nice, and then, um, you know, just hit it with, like, a non-super effective move. Alright, this this cop guy who's not uh, uh, Officer Jenny for some reason. Rule number one, whoever did it will come back to the site. Oh, oh my. So you must be... The one who did it. Hold on a second. He has nothing to do with it. I saw it. There was a red-haired boy looking into the building. Well, you know, you didn't see it. You just saw some guy looking in the building. That doesn't mean anything. Maybe it was me. What? You battled a boy like that? He must be the one who did it. Did you happen to get his name? Yeah, it was question mark, question mark, question mark. Just kidding. All right, so I'm going to name this guy... My name is guy Cody. Anyone who's watched my Destiny series uh, that I do on the game will know that Cody is my clan mate that I play with uh, Destiny when we do PvP. And uh, so that's who my rival is going to be this game. I see. So Cody was his name. Yes. It was question mark, question mark, question mark. Definitely. Thanks for helping my investigation. My next assignment is to search for this red-haired individual. I think you're not going to ever find him, just uh, based on my old play playthroughs. I don't think he finds him. I'm going to find him lots of times, but not this guy. Kyle, I'm glad they understand you are innocent. See you later. Where's your Meryl? Are you still playing hide-and-go-seek? 
Kyle, this is terrible. <laughs> oh yes. What was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery? Huh? This is an egg, isn't it? This egg may be something I've never seen. Still, it's just an egg. Mr. Pokemon is always fascinated by eggs. Well, since he gave it to us, we might as well find out what secret it holds. I'll keep it for a while to find out about the egg. I bet you it makes great omelets. Just kidding. <laughs> what? <laughs> Professor Oak gave you a Pokedex? Kyle, is that true? Th th that's incredible! He is superb at seeing the potential of people as trainers. Wow, Kyle. I knew you were a little different. Things are going to be fun. Your Pokemon seem to really like you, so why don't you... Take the Pokemon Gym Challenge! If you manage to defeat all the gym leaders, you'll eventually challenge the Pokemon League! Champion! Or not! <laughs> Becoming a champion is not at all easy, but you can certainly challenge Violet City's gym! Kyle, challenging the gym scattered around will be a long journey. Before you leave, make sure that you talk to your mom. Fine. I'm gonna talk to this guy first, though. No? No Pokeballs? Did he give me Pokeballs? Or does Lyra give me the Pokeballs in this game? Bet you she does. It's been a minute since I played this. Uh, lately, the majority of the time, I'm playing uh, Pokemon Revolution. If you haven't seen the game, you don't know what it is, definitely check out my series on it. It's an online MMO that you can play Pokemon in. Um, it's got the first four regions of the game, and they're working on building more. It's also got like special holiday event islands um, and special stuff like that. You can catch Pokemon you normally don't catch in the normal regions. Um, so it, it's actually a lot of fun, and it has a really great uh, PvP system to it. So uh, if, you've, if you've liked playing Pokemon, but you've never got like into competitive battling, it's definitely a good uh, first spot to get into it, and, you know, it's it's a lot of fun, so. <laughs> so, you're leaving on an adventure. Okay, I'll help too, but what can I do for you? I know! Every time you receive prize money, I'll save some of it for you. On a long journey, money's important. Do you want me to save your money for you? I've got some questions. First of all, how are you going to get that money? Are you going to follow me around the whole time? Because if that's the case, then my answer is no. Okay. But be careful out there. Pokemon are your friends. When you work as a team, you can accomplish anything. Now go on. Alright. Well, I feel like my mom just kicked me out of here. She's like, I'm going to go become a Pokemon trainer again. Because I've spent the last ten years training you. Your dad, I don't even know who he is. Who he is. He's gone. Um, but yeah. Kyle! You can catch wild Pokemon with Pokeballs. <laughs> no crap. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> Just like that, jump up and down a lot, and you'll catch Pokemon. That's the secret, guys. We might as well just end the series here, because that's all you have to do. Just jump up and down, and you'll catch the Pokemon. Huh? Was I too Was I too fast? I'll try again. Come this way. Dunsparce into my chop, huh? Low kick, right? Oh, you, you, you killed it. Hey, hey, Lyra? I thought... So am I supposed to make them faint to catch them? Well, your Machop's level 6 now, so that's that's cool. I still don't know how to catch a Pokemon, though. That, that's twice you said it. Just like that! That's how you do it, okay. <laughs> it's better to lower the target's HP more than I did. You, you, you fainted it, okay? It, it can't go any lower. <laughs> or make it sleep, or something! You can try all kinds of things and see if that works. I'll give you these. Good luck. <laughs> thanks, Lyra. Thanks, thanks, thanks for showing me how to make Pokemon faint. I already, I already knew how to do that. How do I use these? All right, here we go. First encounter. Ah, Clefairy. I do not want a Clefairy. You know, my next encounter is going to be one of these Charizards, the Tyrantar, or the Gengars, right? Okay, so Clefairy, I guess we can, if I pound it, it's going to die, so I guess I'll transform. And it just has pounds, so I guess that doesn't change really anything. <laughs> I 
Okay, there we go. All right, so uh, I'll go ahead and catch this, and you know, at the, you know, if I need to, I can always use it to, you know, sacrifice if I need something to switch out to. Uh, so let's go. I'm gonna go ahead and growl a couple times, lower its, you know, attack a little bit, see if that makes it a little bit easier to catch. I don't want to waste all my Pokeballs right here. I'd love to uh, do it for one. But if I hit it again, I know it's going to fail. So. In my spare time when I'm not playing Pokemon Online, I am actually a high school math teacher, so I can definitely tell you that's uh, it's about two-thirds of the way gone, so if I hit it again, it, it will die. I can do that math in my head. So let's go ahead and Pokeball this. In case you guys are wondering, I teach, uh, I teach Algebra 1. So any, any of my students that... Uh, pass my class with an A, I actually tell them my username for uh, Pokemon Pro when I'm playing on there and let them know that they can download and play with me if they want. But uh, so far, only one's ever taken me up on the chance, and that was a mistake because they just they uh, they just kept on uh, messaging me the entire time. I'm like, okay, this is a mistake. <laughs> All right, let's see. What are we gonna name our Clefairy? Let's name this Clefairy. I generally, when I name things, I know I didn't follow this with the uh, with Vinny, my Mew. Uh, but generally, what I'll do it all is I'll use like alliteration. So Clefairy, I'm thinking it, it's a guy. So a guy's name. Let's go with Chris. But not just Chris. Let's let's first of all let's spell Chris correctly. Again, I'm a math teacher in my spare time, so my uh, spelling is not the best. I'm gonna go with Kristoff, and I'm gonna spell it. Instead of a PH, I'm going to spell it with a FF. Kristoff. Now let's go with PH. Alright, so we got Kristoff the Clefairy. Alright, so let's go ahead and speed it up, and let's go ahead and pick up some of these items we missed earlier. If this is a chart, oh, I knew. Mm. Now they're just taunting me. Right, let's go ahead and pound it. If this guy kills me with a bite, I'm going to be real upset. If I lose my Mew right here because I did that... Okay, he's screeching. Yeah, I'm, I'm good at it. I'm not going to play around with this. Let's go ahead and move. Would have loved to catch it. Would have been great to catch. Alright, so... Now, a lot of the times when I watch people uh, do these on uh, YouTube, I notice that not very many people go up for this item over here. And, you know, that, that could be a good item, so... Go ahead and get that. See what it's going to be. Big mushroom. Huh? Well, hey, at least that's going to give us some money, some cash, get some more Pokeballs and stuff. Now, I'm going to come back to the root uh, right above this. The route. Root route. I always mess that up. I'm always going to say that wrong. So maybe you guys can, in the in the chat throughout the series, uh, let me know how many times I mess up saying root and I say route instead. Or no, I, wow, I just did it again. While trying to talk about it, I did it again. Alright, so let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and sell the big mushroom that I just got. Because it's all big and stuff. Let's turn the speed off. Up. Sell this. 2,500. Okay. And let's go ahead and buy all them Pokeballs. So, how many potions do I have again? Let's make it an even 10. And then I'll buy the rest of Pokeballs. Now, what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to... Well, I guess it doesn't matter how I do that. Huh. I was going to buy 11 and then buy 11 again, but uh, I don't have enough to do that because you get a, prime, a Premier Ball every time that you buy more than 10. If you do that twice, then I could add two extra Pokeballs. But there we go. All right, so let's go back to that other route. I'm going to heal up real quick, and then uh, we can go ahead and do that. Okay, so let's get over here to this route Let's up that time. and see what our second Nuzlocke Pokemon is going to be. Ooh, a Hitmonchan! This would be really, really good to get. 
So let's uh, let's not kill it. Oh man, I really don't want to kill this thing. I really, really don't want to kill this thing. I'm really afraid my pound's gonna kill it. Let's do it anyways. Okay. Okay. Should have went to the Clefairy. Should have went to the Clefairy. That's my B. That's my B right there. <laughs> hey, there's Mega Punch. Okay. All right. So, killed the Hypnochan. Caught a Clefairy. So so far we're off to a uh, a stellar start. I guess you know. Things are still looking up. We've got this Mew here, so it's not all bad. Oh, another Clefairy. Get oh, but Pound doesn't kill that Clefairy. Bulky piece of crap. All right. So let's go ahead and go over here, and then we will make our way up to the next route. That is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter at KyleStyleGames, or you can watch me live stream on twitch.tv slash KyleStyleGaming. Stay stylish, and I will catch you later.